Grand rising, my lovely Pisces. Grand rising. Thank the Lord that we woke up to see this beautiful day. I hope you are very happy. And if you're not, it's a new day, new beginning, and that you are in good health. Okay. And whatever it is, you're moving forward. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for you. All right, um, if anyone's getting a reading, you get it today or the next day. Okay, I don't like stalling on nobody's readings. You get it today or the next day. If anybody goes into the, my webpage and purchase anything from me, such as my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, you know what this is all about. This is about breaking things off of you. Or things that the people are doing to you. Also, mirrors. People say that shadow mirrors, like we all believe that it's a bad thing. But when you break in spells, it's for the best. Because you're breaking all of it. You don't want to see nothing. Let it all go. You know, there are places where you can go and take your frustration out on it. Start busting things up. Yeah, it says a lot. So when I do um, any um, black magic spellbreaker candles, I make sure I break all things um, off of you, Pisces. Uh, let me move on. I want to say a lot more, but the green candle is for all that you want, your um, health, your wealth, your prosperity, and that's what it's all about, building yourself up. After going through a moment where, you know, people are envy and jealous and um, doing things so that they think that you won't get out of it, you can't do better. They lie to themselves. All right. Self-love. Can't nobody love you like you. Nobody can ever love you like you. And I mean nobody but the universe. Okay. The justice is for anything and anyone that is going to court. All right. Palo Santo and Sage to sage your house, especially now that it's warm out. Sage your house. Cleanse your house, okay? Cleanse it. Get rid of things that are not no longer in use. Get rid of it, okay? The red brick dust is to put it on your doorways around your house. If you don't have a house, put it in front of your doorways in your apartment, okay? The, the water is to work with your shadow side, and we all have a shadow side. The oils is to put on your forehead or in your bath or in your shower gels, soaps, you know, whatever it is that you want, put it on that. I got all kinds, you know. If you can't put it in something wet, you're looking to put in something dry, I also have in a dry form. Crystals and stones play major parts in your life. I have many crystals and stones for you to choose from. Every one of them are for different parts of you. Remember, you got seven chakras, and they are your main chakras. Down from your brain all the way to your feet, to your heart, to your lungs, to every part of your being. Kidneys all, okay? Your private parts, everything. And it's a sign for every part in your body. All right? I also have my bracelets. There are my chakras and my um, evil eye. And I stay big on what I do. And the reason why is because I don't know what intentions people have for me. And we all should believe and that you already know that there is a devil just as well as God is around us, okay? Um, this is why I do what I do. People intend to watch me, and I don't know what they got against me or for me, but, you know, I want to say something to y'all before I, let me finish what I'm doing. This is the spiritual detox talk back. If, you, if you never tried, tried, it works wonders on you. I also have herbs in the bag, and all these herbs come from my own garden, okay? So pick the one you want, and it, and it serves what you want. Nothing will work if you don't set your intentions, okay? Nothing will work in your life, all right? But like I said, if you 
follow what you know that is not for you, you don't have to set in your intentions because the devil is waiting to trap your ass. And that's what they do. The devil looks for weakness. And people come like that. They come to, to get that weakness, that weak person. They come to get you. All right? So, also, I want to say something. Um, whatever it is, you know, the universe talks to me in my dreams and the symbols and all. I do have an online store. I do not practice no evil. But what I do know, there is someone watching me. And whatever they want, they can have. But one thing you can never have is my gifts. You can try to duplicate me, but you will never be me, ever. So, I was sleeping the other night and I felt this energy. And this energy was in a white candle. This someone wants to duplicate and do what I do. But it seemed like whatever they had to want it to fix on me, it blew up on their own face. So nothing you can do to me will ever work and you know who you are. One thing I will say, I don't mess with people and I never do that. I want to be with somebody, somebody. I don't do that. I have... I live a normal life. And that's how I live, okay? And anything that is not for me, it falls off of me. I don't, I'm not a dog that carry fleas and ticks. You understand? I'm not that type of person. But I will say something that when people try to work magic to keep other people in their life, it's going to fall right back on you. Right back. And I'm the kind of person that whatever you want, that you got to do it that bad, you can have it. Because you know what? It was never, ever worth my time. Ever. None of it. It never deposited no good into my life. Nothing. And for all those who want to do wrong to me, I don't say back to you because you're going to live everything you try to do to me. You're going to live it. The universe is bearing all eyes on you. And I say it like this. What's not meant for me, it's not for me, it's against me. God shows me. From all of that energy. So I toast up to you baby. Okay. All the problems will be yours. You can keep it. But I'm going to say it again. That little candle you had burning for me. And you tried to do your little magic shit on me. It blew right back to you. Right back. And I know they tried because God don't lie to me. You think you can do better? You need to take classes with me, but you will never have my gifts. I know they watch me. Not only do they there watch me, but there's plenty. They watch me and these are groups of people. They try to bring me down. And that's how they work. They work in, in groups. But they can never. Okay? Never. 609, baby. Keep your eyes on yourself. Stop trying to keep your eyes on me. You're watching me like crazy. You, your groupies. 609. If anybody knows what 609 means, it's where I live. 609. Stop hating on me. Stop wishing bad on me. You can't fuck with me. I live by the sword. Don't play with me. I already see you. I know who you are. You already know that. 
You already know. These people been hating all their life for me. You have a Pisces. It's like, and I'm going to say this before I do my reading. You ever see a person that you whip but you know don't like you? It's like, you're not with a person that want to be with you. You with a person that's trying to run a race with you. That's crazy. How can you be with somebody that want to compete with you? Want to look at all the flaws in you. And then they got people with them. And you don't even know what's going on. But it's a group. And it can be groups of people. Honey, this can be in your own family. It can be... um. People that you talk to, they got friends, or it could be people that you've been with that, that mess around with other people and, and, and got you in a war of nothing but blood. And see, these people don't even want to see you walking. They want to bury your ass. And I mean, literally bury you. Go to your funeral. It's like if somebody said she passed, they would throw a party. I've been there. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I seen someone tell me they see me from the corner of my eyes for a second. I was there to see that hole when nobody was there. And when they got there, that's what they said on the phone. They banged. And all I was there, I swear to you, I said, let me, can I get a hug? And that was what they told me after the fact. I seen someone to come to my party, these are different people, to destroy, to make a fool out of himself. I seen, I, I see, I'm talking to these people. They talking to me. This is crazy. I'm reading texts from my own family saying, no, you said this before. No, it is what it is. I ain't saying nothing. I'm telling you what happened. See, you got people in denial. But those same people that are in denial will see the punishments that they will receive. You're dealing with me. I'm not the one to play with. I don't even know why they waste their time watching me. These people that I live, where I live at, they, it's like they they haunted by me. They, they just, it's like they addicted to me. And they don't even like me. It's like I'm their choice of drug. It's like they, I, I, they like, they, they look at me like crack or, or cocaine or, or a marijuana or a liquor or whatever it is. But they are, they, it's like they, they, it's like they on a drug. You know how you go to the doctor and the doctor give you a drug for your heart, for your blood, for whatever it is, condition that they got? It's like I am their illness. They live and breathe me. Pisces, if I'm telling you this about me, this is how people are with you. But I'm telling you, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Jonah Art and Art Michael, you shield in the blood of Jesus from these people who are addicted to you, who are narcissists, who don't want nothing good for you. Some of y'all still got these people in your lives. Some of y'all sleep with these people, you talk to these people, you're around them, and you know how they feel about you. They evil. I'm going to say it again. That candle that you was burning for me two days ago. And I'm telling you, honey, I'm giving you the time. It must have been around 10, 20 at night two days ago. Not counting the day you did it. It blew right back on you, baby. I seen it with my own two eyes. And it didn't even bother me because you couldn't touch me. You tried. But you got what you want. Leave me alone. You got that narcissist. And you want to deal with that because that's what you're addicted to. 
You can't be me, and you will never be me. Pisces, they want to be you. They want to be like you. They will do anything to be you. It's like you, you amuse them. It's like they can't try to figure you out. They trying to figure you out. These people, these people want to know. You, but they can't. They don't know how you move. They don't. All right. And I don't know, this morning, the car food came out. Aries. I don't know. I've seen this food like fix. Like very fix. I've seen this food like an Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. I've seen this. If, 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 if any one of these signs. These signs are very fixed to take action. It's like they fit, it's like they fixed to compete with you. It's like they want to be that door. They want to be better. They don't want to see you do well. All right. All right, let's go. Here we go. It's a shame because it feels like they're the doors that it's like a door that opens up, but then you come and you it's like they're there looking at you and you're right behind them and they don't see that you got the eye on all of this, but they're opening these doors to see where you are at. How you move. It's like they open up these, they, the phones, the texts. All right? It's like they got these eyes all over you, but you the main eye. You the eye of the storm. All right, Pisces, let's, let's move on. Joan or Archangel, please come out because I'm sorry, y'all, but I must so show my sword. And I die by the sword, baby. You can't fuck with me. All right, Pisces. And if I bring the sword out of any of my reading, it's because I'm not playing with you. Everything I'm telling you is the truth. Okay? Like I said, I die by the sword. I represent who I am. Okay? I represent who I am. I am a messenger. I am a messenger. And they know it. And I ring the bell. Wake up. Here we go, Pisces. Now, I just now, um, went to shuffle these cards. These cards are just, they're, they're coming out and they just land. They're not flying. They just land right just, just laying down. You know what I mean? They just... Now look at this. You got Pisces. The biggest cup. And then you got the Knight of Swords. Pisces, like I said, you come with good. And people come with this intention to demolish your ass. Alright? They come and try to move fast. They come with this conversation because they all up in their head. They want to take action. To what? To what? What are you trying to take action to? I just told y'all. The first sign came out. Aquarius. I just told y'all. The signs that are like going like that with you. I just told you. 
All right, this energy is like, it, it's like you got a lot to offer, but if something wants to come in fast towards you, so you got to be careful. And the first card that came in my mind this morning was the fool. All right, the fool opening doors, taking uh, what you believe in, what you want to do. Be cautious. Okay, it's like you are the center of attention. It's like you want to get this thing going. Okay, but you got to be careful on how things are moving towards you. All right. All right. Oh. I said Pisces, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is like living that material world. Someone can see you like you a given person. Someone can see like, you know, like something came in fast. This came in fast. This could be like something you want. Something that you can believe that you can have. or some, But it, it's crazy because if you look at this, look in the back. Um, there is a wall, right? And look what the wall has. Look, look on top of it. What does that show you? It shows you remember it said moving fast. You offer these cups. It, it, you gotta be careful who you offer your cups to. And you gotta be careful of what they see that you got. All right. It could be someone that you offer this cup to, but they could be wanting to move fast, but they can have other things going on. Like you may, they either they may see you like you got something, or you may see like this person is coming in, or because this already happened coming in, and they had fam, they got some kind of money, but also come with this family, this this material. Listed thing. I, I don't know what, what it is, but but loyalty. It's like you don't know how to take all of this, Pisces. Or the Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in that material world. Right? Now, look at this, Pisces. The Knight of Cups and then the five of pinnacles. So this can be like you had everything in the material world. You want everything in the material. Or someone had something with you in the material world. You had it all. Or someone sees you like they can have it all with you. Or you live like a certain way. But but it's like this slow moving thing. And someone feel like they've been left out in the cold from living. It's like I want this. This material gain, this 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 life living in luxury or whatever it is, or I could have had it or I had it, but whatever it is, it's, it's this whole world thing of of material things that gain is come because coming, but it, it's it's like a slow moving. It's like it's not moving, right? This love, it's like I can have this love thing, I can have this material thing. But the action is taken. It's like leaving someone in the cold. Leaving someone left out of something. Someone is like praying. Someone is, is, is like needing to come out to get what they want to get. Let me come back home. Let me come into this home that has everything that I want. That I that I need this comfort. But it's like this, this love thing. It's like somebody here feels like. I don't know. With you, it's like I can have it all, Pisces. It's like I can have it all. But, because it's this material gain. But then, the movement is feeling like somebody's being left out because it's not moving. Okay, so someone can see you like you have it all, but it got red flags. It's like... Or someone is telling you, yeah, you can you can have it all, but you better be careful with this. 
right? You got to be careful and you got to know that this is taking its time because someone feels like they've been left out of something about wealth or about this gaining something or having something. Or they feel like you have everything, right? But it's it's like you someone it's like you can't move because you you feel like um it's not worthy or being here or having something or moving towards something it's like losing out or this ain't good right but someone is feeling this loss or this I'm not a part of or I can't be in a part of your what you got, Pisces? Like someone feels like moving, whatever it is, it's like Pisces, you, you not moving towards this, but someone feels like they missing out on what you got because you're not moving. It's like you're not making that move towards them. It's like you're not letting someone come into your door. And someone else feel like they left out of what it is or what they had with you. It's like, I'm missing out on this. I, I'm missing out on everything that Pisces come with. Right? Tell me more. The Seven of Pentacles. This is about someone feeling like they missing out on money, on the way that you... Or, they, or what they have with you. Right? This is like saying. Like you advancing. Like they see you growing. Like they. they, they like you got a lot of potentials. But if. It, but this person. It's like they want you to help them. Or they want. It's like this person needs somewhere to. Um. Like they need you, like the, I don't know if this person is don't have nowhere to go, or they feel like you left them out in the cold, or you're not talking to them, or whatever it is. But they see that you're not offering them nothing, like you're not making no moves. But they see that you're growing, like they see that you're different. They see that you're not bothered by them not being there. Or you're not bothered by not having them. Or you're not even seeing. It's like you don't. <coughs> you're at a point where. You can't. It's nothing there. It's like. I got to move on from this. I got to see. Because it's better out there. This is not for me. This is can never be. Right. It's like. I don't know if you taught. If, if someone feels like you're not. Like you're not bothered by them, like you left them out cold, like, but it's like they're going to, it's like they praying or they saying like, this is, this is the cold day. This is very cold because Pisces, you're not offering nothing. You're not moving. It's not moving you. Okay. I don't know if someone a little darker than you brown skin but it's like somebody here needs I don't know it's like they without I think it, it's like without you um without Pisces I'm really losing out Pisces really got it going on Pisces has things happening for them but it's like through all of this you still can grow you still growing you still got seeds planted but someone is not part of your seeds that you're planting Someone feels like you just, there ain't nothing moving. You're not showing up. You're not there. You, it's like you, maybe you're not even concerned about checking up on them or calling them or seeing how they're doing. It's like you just don't care. It's like somebody, this, this person may want you to feel sorry for them just to let them in. Let them out of the cold. Like, I need to come in. I need to come where it's warm. All right? Um, but... Pisces, it's just saying that you you doing well, but you got to be careful on who you let in your doors or to know what you're doing or how you live because it's like you, you're not moving. It's like you're not taking action with 
someone here. And, but you it's but 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 you're growing. On the other hand, you're you're doing well. It's like you Okay, you you've been through it. You had to overcome something. All right. It wasn't easy overcoming this. You know, the seven of coins is where you planted something, you want something, but also you know that being with someone is 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 like being alone. It's like doing by myself, doing for myself. It's it's not like I'm gaining something from you. It's like I got to start over. It's a struggle of being with someone that can't support you or can't be there for you. But this person sees like you have it all. Like you are the roof. You the door. Right? And it's, and it's living in this material game world. It's what I can gain from you. But you the one that's going to plan. You the one that's going to struggle with this person. It's like you're not... It's like you can give and you can, a person can be in your life and you can do everything for them, but they have nothing for you, but they lean on you. It's like they, they want you. It's like they, but I don't know if they want you because they want you or they want you because of what you can come, what you come with or how you live and what you got. It's like you ever been with somebody or a person that you go to the store or you with a, in a relationship or whatever it is. And you go to the store and you go to buy something and then they put their stuff on a belt for you to pay. Or you go to out to eat with them and I'm a waitress so I know this for a fact. For a fact. For a fact. Okay? And I mean for a fact. You know how many times I go to the table and the lady is paying a check? It's disgusting to me because that's how this is. It's like you have all and they just, they just use you. They, they don't give you nothing. You can't get nothing from this person, but, and it's like, let me start over. It's like when this person comes in, it's like, let, it's like you starting over. When they leave, it's like they leave, like. They trash your ass. They like, it's like you going to, they go to your house and, and they just like, like they trash you. Like they leave you starting over. But they, they, they feel like you leaving them. Like you don't even acknowledge them. Like you don't even see them because you don't offer anything to them anymore. And I guess when they was with you, they, they was doing a good thing because you was doing a good thing for them. It's like you 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 make sure they have, you make sure they're comfortable, right? You make sure you treat them good, right? But this person is not the same with you. It's like they cripple, like they 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 need someone to lean on. And so whenever they they come like this, right, and then they leave, like they leave you again to start over, to pick up the pieces, right? And I don't know, but this is this person. This person knows that they really kind of fucked up. Like, they really know it. And I don't know what the intentions were, but they know they fucked up. <clears throat> because you're not offering a cup. And you got a lot to offer, but you're not doing it. <clears throat> you're not taking action on this. Because you know that you can't grow with this. This, is a, this ain't a possibility that I can grow or we can do something together. It's not like that. It's like it's all about you and they can live off of you. And 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 I'ma say this too. Um, sometimes people say, but you take care of somebody. It's not that you take care of them, it's that they come to you. So if you if somebody comes to me and they open my door and they come and not open my door, you're not allowed to open my door. You're not allowed to do that. Let me correct myself. If someone, if I bring someone into my home. If I bring this person in my home, right, and I treat them like gold, the red carpet, and they know that, but then when I go to their home, right, all I get is a fuck, a drink, a smoke, and then go. They, they have nothing to offer you. Right? They cry broke. 
They 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 have to, but they don't. They don't want to. But then when they when when they see that you have nothing else to do with them, then then they know what they had. Then but you but they leave you to start over. And it's not because you you need them. It's because your feelings, how they are, like how much you invested, how much how much you give, like this. This is a non-situation because it's got all to do with your money. All right? What you, what you built is your material world, your game. What you strive to have. This person don't strive to have shit. All right? They strive to get what whatever it is. It's like, I don't see no love here. I just see what I can get from you or what I can use you for. But it ain't no love. Right? It ain't no love. All right? Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. Pisces, you're the one. You're the one that have it all. Right? You're the one that made people feel good. And this is the, the to me, it's like the single person that brings joy to people. They bring joy to a relationship. Tell me more about this nine and this five of pentacles. Why does this person feel like they've been left out? Like you're not making a move? Because there's a choice. You know, this person has to make a choice. Okay? And it's, it, it's like, um, or you have to make a choice. Or there's a choice here to be made. And the choice is, which way do I go? What should I choose? What is the best thing for me? You know, the, sometimes people got the nerves to want to make a choice between you and whatever the situation or this cards telling you, you may, you need to make the choice because you're not moving. You, you it, it ain't no gain. It's like I, the nerves of you, you ain't got no choice with me. Like, shit, I'm not going to give you my cup because when I'm with you, I don't gain shit. I don't do better. I don't have shit. I don't, you're not giving me nothing in my cup. Yeah, I don't get nothing from you. Not a fucking thing. Nothing. The choice is made. And that's why you're not moving. But they feel left out. Because, yeah, you made the right choice. Because I'm a single woman. I'm a single woman. I have what I have. I I'm free. I don't owe you shit. I am free in the choices, whatever choice they need to make because they're feeling left out in the cold. Keep your choice. That's what you made. Keep it. Because when it comes to me, it ain't a choice. When it comes to you, Pisces, it ain't a choice because you ain't moving. You're not, you're not even getting. It's like you're like sitting there saying, no, honey, I can't give you my cup. No, 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 no. And let me tell you something, Pisces. You better open up your eyes and realize that. Someone wants to lean on you. You can't lean on them. I can't make phone calls and say, can you come help me? Can you pay this bill? Because I, I, I can't make that call. I can't make it. You know? Yeah. So, there's some choices here to be made. But somebody here is definitely feeling left out in the cold because they saying you holding back. Because you know you got better choices, Pisces. And that one is not the right choice. And you know it. Okay? What is the Seven of Pentacles? Temperance. You got what it takes. You bring balance to your life. You're not sitting there saying, I don't know which way I want to go because I got one foot in, one foot out. Oh, no, you blazing. And they know it. All right? So anything that you plan or any struggle that you're going through or any balance that you did not have, you having it. You really are. You got angel watching over you. Okay? There's an angel there. And it's telling you, baby, you looking like you saying, I, I'm I can start this and I know I can grow. 
I know that I'm going to look at this as a different thing to saying that I can grow with this. And that nothing can stop me from growing. Okay? I, yeah, I got to make a, a choice because I can do this on my own. I don't need to be in nobody's uh, choices and all this. I know now what's best. But somebody here feel like they've been left out in the cold, honey. When I mean out in the cold, out in the cold. What is this nine of cups? Because Pisces, when they, when you bring people in your life, you come to help, to nurture, to love. Baby, because they know you walked away. You said bye-bye. It ain't no love there no more. I got to go. I got to go. I'm living good alone. And I got to go. I choose to go. I choose to leave. I can't stay. You choose to walk away from a situation. You choose to say, I'm done with it. I'm done because there is red flags, honey. Okay? There is something that's telling you that this is not meant for you. It's not for you. Like, you can build things on your own. You can have everything you want on your own. You got them nine of cups. And then you got the eight of cups. It's like, baby, let it go. I, I, I'm not giving up everything I got. Everything I built. For someone that wants to bring me down. That comes in and don't do shit for me. I'm leaving your ass. Behind. With all your four cups, because you have nothing in none of them cups for me. Not one. I choose not to look behind. I choose to look forward. To rebuild everything. To rebuild myself. Tell me more about this choice. Pisces, the three of cups. You understand? that? that what are you celebrating with? Check this out, Pisces. Check it out. You got a lot of fish. It's a lot to celebrate. You Let me tell you something. When you make the right choice and you move the right way, you got a lot to celebrate. With new beginnings, you got to leave things behind that is not worth it. Because somebody knows that you're moving on. Someone sees that you are celebrating the choice that you made, the right choice. You got to make the right choice for yourself. You can't be sitting there taking care of people, people leaning on you for all they fucking problems, for everybody that they got, putting you on third parties, putting you, like, just trying to destroy things for you. You got to make the right choice. You can't be sitting there trying to take care of somebody that don't want the best for you. They see that you celebrate a main event, and the main event is freedom. It's walking away from... Things that no longer deserve you. Things that put you in situations that you ain't got no business being in. Things that, that want to take advantage of you. Things that want to use your space and don't deposit nothing into your life. Now they see. You know, it's like, oh, I, I, can, I can take whatever you got. Whatever you come with. The energies that you bring to me that are not for me. I'm going to zipper your ass up and trash you. And I'm going to take, built a whole new building with new windows, new doors, furniture, cars, everything. A whole new life, a whole new person in my life. So I can trash what is not for me because somebody comes with too much shit. Right? So you got to make a choice how you live, what you want to celebrate. And this could have been like they haven't won too many. But you the one. And they know that you the one, Pisces. They know that they can't find nobody like you. But they see that you celebrate the main event. And the main event is what? Letting go of someone that just lean the fuck on you. That just lean on you. Damn. Tell me more about the tempers. Now they feeling that shit. See, that's how it be. When It's like when you say leave, you giving me choice. When you say I don't belong, you giving me choice. When you say I see you from the side of your eye for a second, you gave me a choice because you see me from the side. You've been looking at everything you wanted in front. You never even acknowledged me. You never raised me up like I was somebody in your life. You always put me down like I was in shit. 
You wanted to make everybody look at you like you was the one. Like I meant nothing to you. You always put people with trash on top of me. So that I couldn't be seen. All right. You never wanted me to be a part of anything that you had going on because I wasn't good enough. But now you always knew in your heart that I was. That no matter what you try out there, you you know how you have a person that always says, well, somebody can do that or they're better than you. But And they say it to you. Do you understand? Like people got a lot of fucking nerves. A lot of nerves. You want to compare me to everybody. You want to put me down to put somebody up. You want to talk about me. You want to destroy me, but you want to still be with me. Let me tell you something. Go wrap your ass and your trash with trash and move on because I always rise and you know it. That's like somebody knows it. Let me tell you, that's like somebody always knew you. And you always knew them when they wasn't shit. They ain't had pop the piss and nowhere to throw it. You knew a person when they had nothing. 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 And they so, it's like they never wanted the best for you. They wanted to bring all these people and make them see you like you are a devil, like you're narcissist, like you're negative. That's the way they want to see you, but you come in peace. You say, baby, I come in peace. You already know me. You can't fuck with me. You can't demolish me. You want to bury me. You want to come to my funeral. That's how much you hate me. But deep inside of you, you love me. Ain't that some shit? That's sad. That's sad. That's how they are. I don't need that kind of shit around me. That's, that's the way they look at you. But Pisces, you made a choice because you're not offering them no more love. You're not offering them shit. you leaving them out in the cold because you know that you got to make that decision that's best for you. And then you come to a major celebration. People are happy for you. Tell me more about this temperance. Tell me more. It's like I can do good by myself because you can't do bad. You, you do good by yourself. You start over you. You planting seeds. You keeping your mind going. You got other things going on. You studying. You moving on. You making money here, there, everywhere. You know, like you you really come to a balance to understand your worth. What you about. Okay? It's like, Pisces, you, you, you the queen. You giving birth to new things. And they know it. Look at you. You got a lot to offer. All right, this person knows again. They going and they saying, "Well, Pisces, you know, Pisces left me reminiscing, reminiscing about all the things that they could have had with you." Right? You go by the sword. You go by the right. You know, you read them. You come into this energy where you know, like you in charge of shit, like you the one. Like they can't fuck with you, right? It's like you coming into this masculine part of you that you say to yourself, I don't need to look at all of this shit that I've been through because everything I've been through is in the past. I'm moving forward because I still got a lot of love here for me, for what's coming for me, what I'm, what I'm creating, what I'm planning the seeds to grow. And somebody cannot stand the fact that you are living, that you got a lot of love to give. And that they, all they reminisce on all the past, the past, the past. But they want to come to you. They want to talk to you. They want to, you know, let's see what... It, no, it don't work that way. It's like they see you like this mask or like this force. Like this power. Like It's like you took your power back from them. It's like you don't need to think about what you've been through with somebody because you've been there, you've done that. But they see now who you are. See, they reminiscing how they treated you. 
They remedy. They know what they did. They know. They're not stupid. They know. It's like you took the crown off of a man. It's like you you say, give me that masculine part. I got that. And I'm moving like the source. I'm moving free. I'm moving this thing around. I'm I'm just moving around. Right? Judgment. It can't fuck with you. Look at you. Happy as a motherfucking camper. Yeah. You happy as hell. And they don't like it. You singing that tune. You playing that music. That's right. That's right. I'm singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm moving along. I'm happy as I can be. Because guess what? I had to evolve. I had to become a butterfly after everything I've been through. But at least I know I don't offer my cup anymore. I can't offer my cup. I can't let people come into my home. I can't let people come into my world. I can't love the way I used to love because it's just too much. I, I come with too much. I bear too much. You know, my water is to grow. Okay? But they don't, it's like I plant the seeds with water intent, with all my intentions for you to grow. But people don't want that from you. It's like they want to bury your ass. They want to put soil that you can't grow. They want to point their fingers at you. They want to tell you what you did to them. They want to take you to the past and you say, no, baby, I got your crown. Let me snatch your damn crown from you because I got the mask and you can't fuck with me. It's like they want to demolish you, but they can't. They got to respect you. It's like you're gaining what you want, Pisces. You're gaining it and they see that you're moving forward. Pisces, if you need reading, get it from me or someone else. You are in power and you are in control. And someone's mad as fuck. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.